podcast. What, I mean, what kind like, of concerts you go to? Um, a lot of hip hop. I haven't been in a while, but me and my boy Christian have gone like ASAP Ferg, Action Bronson. Action Bronson is wild. I ate chips and salsa backstage with Mayhem Loren and what and You God and Power from Wu Tang, and then we got <laughs> kicked out when uh the Jizza came in the room because my dumb ass. My what dumb did ass, you do? My dumbass snuck us into the VIP with all the rappers, and then someone walked through and said, yo, who's got this color wristband? And I was like, we do. And I should have known. I worked in nightclubs. I knew they were eliminating people, and my ass was having such a good time and got so comfortable, we outed ourselves. And if I just had not done that, we would have met the Jizza because he was coming in the room. That uh, was the thing. He was, was like, about to uh, do his thing before he we went on stage. And the weirdest part was, is I got us in there one week. So like we were downstairs, we were downstairs at, I think it's called Coda. And my boy had this VIP to get us up to the VIP bar. But when we were downstairs at first, there was an opening act and there was a guy next to me and he was making jokes. He was funny. He was saying something about, oh, my hair cuts fucked up. I look like Martin Van Buren. And son, I like Googled Martin Van Buren. I was pretty sure I knew the joke was fire. That's but then I Googled it and I told my boy and I was like, I had to be like, yo, that joke you said was funny as shit. Like your hair's not that fucked up. But like that was hilarious, dog. That's funny as Martin shit. Van Buren, bro. So I chat with him and then my boy's like, let's head upstairs to the VIP bar. It's less busy. Boom, boom, boom. Yeah. We go up there. We're chilling. And then there's on the far after the bar, there's like a hallway and... It's a second floor, and I can smell weed coming out of a room. Yeah. And I'm like, well, that's clearly where the talent is. <laughs> right. They're not just going to let random people smoke weed in a room <laughs> next to the stage upstairs. So, like, I I'll literally, if you do. I just know, I just, because I had been running a security team a little bit, nothing fancy, but just two dudes who check ID. Hey, you did night clips. So, so you know this. Yeah, so I knew if I walked in a certain way, because there was a bodyguard near the door, but he wasn't paying much attention. I, I eyed it up. We had a drink, a couple drinks at the bar. I'm looking. We're decked out in a lot of Wu-Tang gear. I mean, I got on Clark's. I got on Wallabies. Like, you know what I mean? I got yes. on a Wu-Tang sweater. I got on a Wu-Tang hat. We're there to see the Jizza. So I approach the door, me and my boy, just like he's got on this sick blue and black 90s Wu-Tang world logo with yeah, the yeah. globe. Mm-hmm. And it's like vintage 90s. Like we look pretty solid Wu-Tang Dumb. out. And I just walk into the green room and they're smoking, blah, 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 blah. Turns out I make eye contact across the room. It's the kid who made the Martin Van Buren joke. Turns out he's a local Talent? Philly rapper. Oh, shit. And o ended up being like the second or third opener. So I see him, and he instantly daps me up. Yes. So, and that was across the room, like 10, 20 feet. So we're really get in. Yeah. Like, it You're made accepted. it look good because it's not like security looked in, Shade opened is. the door and looked. They're like, oh, these guys walked in and are just standing there. Now, 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 we went across the room. We dapped up. I'm on the wall with someone chatting now. Blah, blah, yeah. blah. And like, Time goes on, and legit, Mayhem Loren's just in there. Hugs us, daps up with us. We're eating chips and Word. salsa with these guys. Power comes <laughs> over. He likes our swag because he runs the clothing company for them and stuff. Yeah. And we actually get on stage, but they they were filming for Vice. Oh, and you can almost nice. see me and my buddy in a Vice clip. There's an old Vice clip where Mayhem Loren goes to Philly, and he eats a cheesesteak, and then he performs. We were at that show That's on funny. the wings of the stage. It's from like two years ago or a year and a half ago, something like that. I might it's have seen crazy. A I mean, I still know which one it is, but we're like <laughs> right there, like backstage, that chilling. That is hilarious. Yeah, real crazy. <laughs> and just chilling with them, eating chips and salsa, and extracurricular activities were going on, and they were just doing their oh, thing, man. and it was just nuts.